Hola cafeños, we are Café Con Leche Travels. My name is Travis. My name is David. And today we are going to take you on some neighborhood tours around Merida. This is a video that has been requested multiple times. And so today we're going to be showing you around the neighborhoods of the Montes and Alta Brisa. So let's go. The reason we're doing this is, look at, I was just gonna try to start the car with the house keys. We are going to show you the neighborhoods in the north of Merida today. We're gonna take you to some shopping spots, some eating spots, and show you what the houses look like. The reason we're doing this today is because we have a rental car that we used to go to the beach last week, which if you haven't seen that video, go check it out now. It was awesome. Let's go. So we are starting on the western border of the Montes. The Montes are kind of a group of three or four neighborhoods that all start with Monte, and they're all up in the northern section of Merida. This is a really popular area for foreigners uh, because of the amenities, and we are gonna show you some of those now. First stop is the Harbor Mall. We are in the parking garage right now. We actually came to this mall after we first moved to Merida and when we made our Malls of Merida video. So if you wanna go back, check that out when we're done and see how things have changed because we came here kind of in the height of COVID and almost nothing was open, right? Right. So let's see what it's like now. I totally forgot to bring my mask. We have like 48 at home. <laughs> So David just ran inside and I am waiting in the parking garage because you still need a mask to get into every public place in Merida. As of, we're making this video in the beginning of April, 2022. Not sure when or if these restrictions will ever go away, but for now, this is what we're living with. Got the goods. <laughs> Literally took like 25 minutes. Yeah, what happened? Couldn't figure out where to buy one. And then I asked and found one, but there was a line of like eight people. Oh man, it was 10 pesos, 50 cents. We did it. All right, <laughs> let's go and show you this mall. So one of the coolest parts of the Harbor Mall is the outside. Let's show you that. There are a number of apartment complexes and high rises back here. This is obviously a very convenient place to live because who doesn't want to live behind a mall? And next to, a turquoise blue man-made lake. All right, we're gonna take the drone up and show you the whole view right now. All right, enough of that mall. Now, let's show you around the rest of the neighborhood. Let's do it. One thing to know about this mall in particular is the parking garage is free. Unlike us coming from LA where you had to pay for everywhere you park. <laughs> in like increments of two minutes, basically. Yeah. So far, we've yet to pay for parking in Mexico. There are some lots down in Centro that you have to pay for, but one bonus, I guess, of being up in the north is parking is plentiful and free. Although we normally take Ubers and Didi's everywhere, so. So down this road, past the harbor, is a lot more shopping. We're coming up on the Galerias Mall, which has an upscale Liverpool, which is kind of like a Neiman Marcus moment, and a mall attached to the back of that, where they have a big ice skating rink, randomly, but so cool. It is 102 degrees outside, but if you wanted to go ice skating, you could do it in the Montes. And past that, there's a Costco and the Mayan History Museum. Thank you. 
Now we want to show you guys some of the housing neighborhoods within the Montes. Along this main road with all the shopping, there's a nice little pedestrian bike path, which don't know if that was here when we first moved, but it looks newly painted, if not, and well-maintained. There are biking options in Merida. It's a shame that there aren't more because it's such a flat city there, that there aren't more protected bike lanes, but over the last year and a half, we definitely have seen more and more bike lanes being put in, and so that's just awesome to see. Yes, absolutely. Now we're pulling into the western part of the Montes de Ame neighborhood. So one thing, if you haven't noticed, is throughout Mexico, walled neighborhoods are pretty common. Uh, you see that definitely in the colonial neighborhoods, uh, but also out in the north and the suburban neighborhoods, there are still walled communities and walled houses. One thing about this neighborhood and all the Montes in general is there's a ton of new construction right next door to houses that have been here for years and years and years. So it's a pretty, depending on the block, depending on the area, it can be pretty mixed, it can be all new, it can be all older housing, really is just varied. There are some high rises, but generally in Merida, the biggest structure is like a two-story house, townhouse, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, even if you look out from the taller buildings, you just see a lot of flat, yeah. flatness. And we'll take you, we'll show you some of the newer apartment buildings that are going up and they are nice. One thing we've noticed around this neighborhood and around the Montes is that during rush hour, the main streets can get a little congested uh, so that's just something to keep in mind also if you do have a car. Now we want to take you guys to some newer high rises in the Montes that are near um, a popular shopping area called City Center. So this is the Perifico, which goes, it's a highway that rings the whole city. And Temazon Norte, which is where we live, is just on the outskirts. The Montes is just on the inside. One reason we wanted to make this video is to kind of show a more realistic view of what living in Mexico, specifically Merida, looks like. Uh, because there, you can watch one or two videos and they may show just one specific area, one specific building, and you might think that that is what it is. But as we said, there's like new development, old development, new development next to old development. So it's a, it's a mixture of things happening in this city. And it's also, I think when we got here, before we came, we had done like Google Street View and like booched around to look at all the streets and some streets were like, oh my gosh, that looks not like I'm used to seeing a street look like. And then we got here and we're like, I mean, some things aren't, I guess, as aesthetically pleasing as maybe they were in where we were in Los Angeles. But I don't know, it's like come to have like a certain charm, a certain like rustic charm. And then there is, you know, some, like we just showed you, very built up malls with ice skating rinks. So it's got it all. So we're going by these new high rises. Two are complete and one is still under construction. They look beautiful and also not inexpensive. So just want to say this block that we're on right now is like the epitome of new construction. To our left is a brand new gorgeous apartment building that we'll show you, and to the right is another brand new gorgeous apartment building, like gorgeously done sidewalks, and like two blocks from here it looks nothing like this. So it's really just kind of a hodgepodge of stuff.
now we are going to take you guys to the city center shopping area and it's where people obviously do some more shopping. We're now taking you guys to the northern part of Montebello, which is another part of the Montes. And as you'll see, the houses are about to get turned, turned up just a little bit, and more shopping centers, more niceness. So, you get the idea. <laughs> High walls, new construction, almost everywhere. Monty. Monty, Monty's got the Monty. <laughs> Now we are pulling into Alta Brisa, which is just east of all the Montes, and it is another very nice, very wealthy neighborhood. The walls are getting higher, land plots are getting longer, and the privadas are getting nicer. My goodness. We are in a shopping area called City Hall. There is a mall and a huge Soriana um, grocery store, a Burger King, Boston's Pizza, Sears, I mean. Are you detecting a theme yet? <laughs> Basically, each neighborhood in the north has one, two, three, four, five malls around. And so there really is a ton of different shopping options for, you know, pretty much every level. There's like strip malls that have your everyday stuff, and then there's these giant malls that have more high-end options. But in the north of Merida, you are never far from a mall. That is the Montes and Alta Brisa. Yes, and obviously there's still so much more that we couldn't show, but I hope you got an idea of what it's like to live in the northern part of Merida. It is very hot today, otherwise we would have gotten out of the car a little bit more, <laughs> but it's currently 102 degrees. So thank you for joining us on our car tour of Merida. My skin is bubbling. If you live in the northern part of Merida, let us know in the comments what your favorite part of the area is, what you like to do there. Any tips? Yes. They're always appreciated. If you are new to our channel, we have about a year and a half's worth of content in Merida and around Mexico. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell. It really helps our channel out a lot. 
a lot. And we will be doing a lot more of these neighborhood tours while we have this car. So make sure you're subscribed so you see the other neighborhoods in and around Merida. All right, here comes our tagline. Hasta luego. We'll see you next time.